Kim Leadbeater's narrow victory in Batley and Spen will be an excuse for many in Starmer's circle to attempt to further marginalise the left of the party. That will apply more than anyone to Peter Mandelson, who spoke to Sky News to comment on the by-election result. So how come Labour only won by 323 votes? Uh, because, as I've explained to you, we've had a very bad 10 years. We've been on a very negative trajectory. So why you know, do you feel that Keir Starmer is the right man to take you out of that? Yes, I do. Uh, I do. If, if, if he were allowed to lead, unfortunately, there are people uh, in, the, in the party. There were Corbynite elements on the left of the party who were watching with glee as George Galloway entered the, entered the race in Batley and Spen and announced that his sort of task was to, was to defeat uh, Keir Starmer. I mean, frankly, those people should have been busy campaigning in Batley and Spen rather than conspiring in smoke-filled uh, rooms to undermine him uh, and to launch a leadership challenge against him. Now, I think that Keir Starmer, yes, you know, it's been an extraordinarily difficult year for him. It's been a, the most abnormal year in politics I can remember in my life, but we are emerging from it. And that's the chance. That's the opportunity for Keir Starmer now. Peter Mandelson. That was Peter Mandelson complaining about people having conversations in smoke-filled rooms about potential leadership contests instead of fighting for the Labour Party to win. Now, you might remember that when Jeremy Corbyn was leader of the Labour Party, obviously everyone's got incredibly short memories now, Peter Mandelson said he woke up every single day and tried to undermine Jeremy Corbyn's leadership. Now, he didn't say, I wake up every day and try and get the, the Labour Party elected. No, he says, I wake up every day trying to undermine the leader of the Labour Party. So when he says, oh, Keir Starmer, he needs to have a chance to lead, you know, you, uh, that could not be more disingenuous. He hasn't been in, 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 at top level politics for 10 years. And yet he's now, he's now on Radio 4, Sky News. He's become like a real outrider for Starmer. And he's talking there from his home in Wiltshire, his multi-million pound home in Wiltshire, presumably. You know, well, it's a good thing he wasn't in his Notting Hill, you know, uh, home. And this is the guy, Michael, it's important to remember, this is the guy who, who's two things. People say, well, the Blairites got it so right in the 1990s and Mandelson was there. First of all, Peter Mandelson was the head of communications in the 1987 general election, which was a disaster for Labour. Secondly, he was a very senior figure in the 2010 general election for Labour, which was a disaster. So the idea that this guy has the golden touch, he knows what he's doing. He was the MP for Hartlepool for, for, for a very long time and Labour just lost it by 7,000 votes. What does, that, what does that tell you about people's memories of... Peter Mandelson as MP for Hartlepool. Uh, I, I also think, to finish with this, Michael, it says so much about our media that Peter Mandelson is now this go-to guy. Nobody elected him when he was in the cabinet under Gordon Brown. He doesn't have any discernible talents apart from sort of slagging people off and undermining various people. He's never accomplished anything, you know. I mean, he was an MP, but his, 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 his job for New Labour wasn't, OK, we're going to work on this policy, get it implemented. It was about attacking the left. I, I don't quite understand where this kind of ardour from the media comes from. At least with Alastair Campbell, he was a top journalist. He went to do comms for, for, for Tony Blair. You, you can see what he excelled at. Peter Mandelson, he was a hanger-on. He was there before Blair in 87. He was there after in 2010. And that's what he got when he got found out. It would suggest he's not that good at politics. Uh, and yet he's here sort of still talking garbage. He, without being rude, and it's, there's no reason to be ageist about this, but the guy is 67 he has been in politics for 35 years. And, and I, I do feel like he still thinks that we're talking about the political realities of the late 1980s. Maybe, just maybe, if you have a multi-million pound home in West London, if you've been on a, a boat with a Russian billionaire oligarch, Oleg Deripaska, right? If you were friends with Jeffrey Epstein, maybe you don't know what is driving the common woman and man in this country. Maybe, it's just a thought, I could be wrong, and maybe the media should take that into account when they think, well, let's go to Peter Mandelson. Let's see him ventriloquize the working class voters of this country. I mean, it's, it's absurd. Uh, hopefully, Michael, organizations like Navarro Media can stop it happening in 2024. Because uh, this, like you say, this is one of the things that really riles me. At least Keir Sturm was the director of public prosecutions. He's a successful person in his own right. He's accomplished things. Mandelson is a proper political bag carrier. Can't stand the man. Mm -hmm.